So here at Lenaro, we put together Android builds that we release every month, and we put those builds out for a variety of boards. Connect is a great opportunity to do wonderful things with these boards and bring them much, much further in one week than sometimes we can do in, in a couple of months. People who care about these boards come and work with us to actually enable graphics, multimedia, and this week actually we had an extremely fantastic week where we were able to actually take a board that's never run Android before and actually get Android running on it. And I'd actually like to show you that here. So what you see here is this is a Freescale IMX6 board. Currently in development, we were able to, we got this board about a couple weeks ago and we brought it connect, brought it to connect with the hope of actually booting Android on it. Now, as you can see here, we are actually booting Android on it. <laughs> now, when we first do enablement on a board, So I'll just get uh, something cool on the screen here while I talk. <laughs> Everybody likes to watch something cool, right? So this is OX Bench. Now, when we got here, we weren't exactly sure what was necessary to, to get this board up and running, but we were able to use our software GL hack to actually allow us to bring this up without hardware enablement and without and being able to actually do that allows us to actually go from zero to booting in about a week nice this is the this is about the same kind of experience we had had with bringing up ICS originally on the origin the snowball the pan and the panda uh, Panda board and the IMX53, which you don't see here um, because now that we have IMX6, it's it's a faster faster board. So now the amazing thing, and, and if you can actually um, uh, uh, shoot the the unit here, is what you're seeing here is actually software rendering. The IMX6 is a quad core A9. And what you're seeing here is essentially what is possible with the quad-core chip. This, this software rendering is, is, is spectacular. Hmm. This, is, this is basically what you would see on a panda board, on the first, ver first uh, panda board version um, with SGX. Huh. So it's, it's really quite useful. It's, it's nice, it's useful, and in the next coming months, we'll actually work to enable hardware graphics acceleration. So what you'll see is an even, is an even more wonderful experience. And we'll work to get uh, hardware video acceleration. And get, to get it so that you can actually throw it up on a screen and, 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 all the, and integrate all of the Lenaro uh, changes and, and optimizations that we have worked on over the last year um, that you see in, in all these other builds. So I'm actually extremely excited about it. It, it adds to our, uh, adds to the number of baselines that we now support. And people can easily come to Lenaro and get and try this build out when this board comes, comes out with the same ease that they can program and use any other board. So people can actually take and build this source code today um, using the exact same methods that they can for, for all the other boards we support. So there's no grepping through wiki pages, there's no going on IRC. If you do have problems, we are on IRC 24 hours a day, and you can come to us, but we, we, we do hope that, uh, and of course we wanna hear from you, but, but you are able to get going relatively quickly. Nice. Can you give us a kind of run through of all the different boards that you have out here, and uh, what the SOC is, and who makes it? And... Yeah, absolutely. So we've talked about the Freescale IMX6. We also have a uh, Samsung Origin board here. Um, 
using the exact same chip that you'll find in the, um, I believe it's the Samsung Galaxy, and but in this easier to use uh, hacking form. And this this board, the um, Exynos, is actually available online. You can you can buy these, and, and all these boards are available for around. 100 to 150 dollars. So they're they're well within. I mean, if you're going to buy a cell phone to do development, you might as well buy one of these boards to do development. Is what I'm saying. You'll you run into a lot less problems. We have all the source, and you can build the entire platform soup to nuts, or you can actually get a pre. Uh, you can download a pre-built image if you're just interested, for example, in doing SDK development. What we also show here is we have the Snowball uh, from St. Erickson. This is quite a cool, a quite a cool board. It's you can you can tell that it's very small, and it's actually nice to use for development because it is it is a smaller board. It um, and it has a Mali 400 uh, graphics core in it. Uh, so you're actually in addition. So the Samsung has a Mali, Snowball has a Mali, um, and depending on what you're going for, um, the Snowball has. Additional features like GPS, it has um, it has sensors, and it has things that you may, if you're doing, you know, a, a robot or or some kind of more embedded system, find extremely useful. Um, you don't have to go out to SparkFun to get a to get a GPS, and you don't have to get a get a, an external um, wire in uh, an external sensor. You you've actually got it on the board. Um, the, the Samsung, as you can tell, is more of a more of a tablet. Um, in this in this current form factor, you you could imagine wrapping this up in kind of your an old your own tablet that you could take around. Um, what you can see here is, if we run through these, is that you can actually run the exact same APKs that are on your phone or that you want to develop against using these using these platforms. So, if you're really interested in the cutting edge 4.0.3 ICS. You can get it here. So all of these boards run lockstep with the current state of the art. So 4.0.3 ICS with enablement, and here you actually see that you see that Molly enablement in action. And I can, you know, bash my bricks all day long. <laughs> this is a great game, by the way. <laughs>